Welcome to another Hump Day Hockey. You know what the show is all about, so why not we just get started? Well, Max Talbot has been suspended two games for an illegal check. I watched the check over, and I felt like it should have been more. However, he's never been fined before in the NHL, and he's never been suspended. So I guess they let him off easy with only two games for this illegal check. Jared Spurgeon has signed a four-year contract extension worth two. $2.75 million with the Minnesota Wild, and he'll be receiving about $5.19 million a year. Speaking of signings, Stamkos is still trying to sign with the Tampa Bay Lightning, as they're still trying to squeak out a deal. Yarmir Yager has officially passed Marcel Dion for the fourth all-time best goal scorer in the NHL, and Montreal legend Dickie Moore has died at the age of 84. He won six Stanley Cups with the Canadians and was able to score 96 points in 70 games played one season. And he had his number 12 retired from the Canadians in 2005. For the stats and the standings, well, the Stars, there's no surprise there. They're still leading the entire NHL and the West with 54 points. The other teams currently in the playoff hunt for the West are the Blues, the Kings, the Sharks, the Canucks, the Wild, the Blackhawks, and the Predators. I find it very surprising that the Canucks are in there. I said that they were going to be the worst team in the West. Turns out that they're now in a playoff spot, so good for my team, as you can see in the back. And for the East, the Capitals are now the team to beat, with 52 points. The other teams in the Eastern Conference that are contenders for the playoffs are the Rangers, the Canadians, the Bruins, the Senators, the Islanders, the Red Wings, and the Panthers. For points, there's no surprise that Patrick Kane is still the leading point getter with 50. And for goals, well, Jamie Benn's not alone anymore because Vladimir Tarasenko has joined him with 22 goals. Both are tied for the top goals in the NHL. For rookies, of course, we can't be surprised with this, but Panarin, he's still dominating all rookies with 31 points, and Braden Holtby is still dominating all goalies with 21 wins, 4 regulation losses, 1 overtime loss, a .931 save percentage, and a 1.96 goals against average. For my predictions, my two predictions last week were the Canucks would be bottom of the west, I was wrong about that, and I'd be in a new location, I was right about that one. But my predictions for this week are that there will be lots of trades in the NHL, and the Canucks will be back out of the playoffs. I think it's fluky that they got into the playoffs, but they'll be out. Thank you so much for watching as always. I love you guys. You guys should keep an eye out for the Bottom Line View channel, because I'm now going to be a part of that YouTube channel, and I'm going to have a video coming out every single weekend. So this Saturday or Sunday, you should go down to the Bottom Line View and check it out, because we're going to have more hockey on that channel. And while you're at it, be sure that you check out all their football and all their wrestling videos as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a happy Festivus, and I'll see you in the, during the next one. Bye!